I'm a little curious. Does this game have the option of just, uh, like, auto-equip best equipment? Not really, no. Cause it... Okay, that's, that's a shame. It would be nice if it did, but... I always like it when RPGs just have that option. Just for, like, okay, I don't want to deal with this. Just give me the best stuff I have. And I don't know, I've played an RPG that has that, but I don't play that many RPGs. Holy moly, that's a lot of shit. Well, it is a sword talker. Isn't that what they're for? A lot of shit. It's there so storage wars can exist. <laughs> Obviously. I mean, I'm pretty sure that all of that shit's pretty much fake, so... <laughs> You know, that show, Storage Wars, just had the guy yelling, yep, ingrained into my yep, mind. Yep, 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 yep. If it's ingrained into your mind, then how come you don't even know his name? Listen, I just have the, uh, <laughs> the image of him saying that. It doesn't mean I remember anything else about the dude. That doesn't seem like a very safe pile of garbage to be climbing on. I found Jolteon! It's not yeah, Jolteon. Just imagine falling and tripping on whatever sharp things in there. Ferris Snarf! Or just being, like, fucking overcome by the garbage as soon as you sand on it, like it's quicksand. Mm hmm. Ah, <sighs> Mackie's P.O. Box Key. Keeps a P.O. box key in a fucking storage locker. Why would you just carry it on you? It's a key. It doesn't take that much. Or even just have it at your house. You fucking dumbass. Because why wouldn't you? Because why, why would you go to a storage locker just to get a P.O. box key just to go check your fucking mail? Also say let that, you know, that ended up on auction, you know, someone then gets yeah. access to your P.O. box. <laughs> then they can see all the stupid things that your oh, fucking so online much. people send you. Where's the post office again? I you know, you're a fucking Twitch streamer and somebody sends you a bag of dildos and then somebody goes and pick up your P.O. box. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is this shit? Oh my god, this guy buys dildos. In bulk. What a creep. The best way to get I think this is a horse dildo. <laughs> also, who just lets a kid come in and fucking stick their Back goddamn door key into a not. fucking post office box? Like, why? <laughs> I doubt the kid owns that post office box. Eh, don't worry about it. I'm getting this for my parents. <laughs> uh, of course you are. Isn't South Park supposed to be a small town so okay, everybody should probably know each other? So I know that this random kid wearing yet. fucking an emo wig and a bear costume isn't probably somebody collecting that person's mail. Of but course. also in the collective, they just don't care. <laughs> you will never get laid looking like that, kid. Why is there just alien technology everywhere now? Uh, it was always there. Just that yeah, now But why? Do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> why was it there in the first place? Because for um, research, I don't know. Did the aliens need to get around sewers? Not like we could ever understand the inner machinations of an advanced race. They didn't seem very advanced. Yeah. They also mood. They mood? Yeah. Moo. Yeah. He just can't really hear it because the volume's not. High. I also wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> we were talking for so long about, like, Pokemon and junk. Yeah, Pokemon. I've almost beat the game again in preparation for Scarlet and Violet. Which one are you gonna get? 
I, uh, I'm gonna get Violet. Which one are you getting, Gabe? The one with the less dumb-looking box legendary. Well, which one's yeah. that one? Well, they both look kind of dumb. I mean, they both kind of do, but... I think they're fine. I mean, they're Pokemon, so, you know, they're made for children. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny that actually talking about Scarlet and Violet, I had a dream about that last night. About Scarlet and Violet or dumb legendaries? I got myself a TV Scarlet award! Violet. Or did you have a dream that you were playing it? Kinda. Or did you have a dream that you were in the Pokemon world? I think it was kind of some of both. Like <laughs> you start playing it, then you get sucked in. Well, no, you see, uh, my dreams aren't exactly always the most coherent, but there's like a part of it where I was just like watching Gabe play it. Oh. <laughs> so you weren't even, oh, you weren't like having it. a dream about playing a game. You were having a dream about watching somebody play a game. How exciting. Well, no, there was a part where I was doing stuff too. <laughs> what, did you get Gabe a fucking Mountain Dew while he was playing? No. And Gabe's like, hey, loser, go get me a fucking soda. Basically, the part <laughs> where Gabe was playing, uh, he ran into a Pokemon that was like this quadrupedal metal dragon thing that had like a <laughs> you playing a giant, Hunter or a giant scythe coming out of like one of its Jesus paws. Jesus Christ. Uh, and... For some reason, it was just a pure fighting type. <laughs> and I was, like, at that point trying to find, like, uh, a list of uh, the new Pokemon that were in the game, but I couldn't find it online for some reason. It must be... It, it's, like, missing. Ooh, no. what's this? <laughs> Gerbitoad. That... And then there was, uh, then the point where I was doing stuff, uh, I don't think I was more really playing game or I was I, I guess I was in the game or something. <laughs> and I guess I chose uh, the cat's Brigatito as my starter Pokemon. Yeah, that's a more important question. Which starter are you gonna get? Don't you mean the weed cat? <laughs> yeah. The stoner cat? Oh, I'm getting Play Coco. I'm getting fucking Quaxley because you gotta represent the ducks. <laughs> For you, darling, okay? But uh, the one last thing I want to mention my, with my dream, which was probably the weirdest thing, was uh, not the fact that you were dreaming about Gabe playing a game. For That's like a not weird. <laughs> yeah, remind me to move my chair like five feet to the right. <laughs> That's like the only time you've ever appeared in my dream, Gabe. By the way. Sure. Sure it is. Only, the only time that you've <laughs> appeared in his dream that he's willing to discuss. But anyways, uh, it was in that one section I was talking about where I had my starter. I was trying to get through this uh, starting area and this guy uh, was stopping me and telling me about uh, like the, uh, the phone or whatever I was going to be getting or whatever. But it wasn't just normal phone or whatever. It was like something you had to get a needle to inject yourself with or something and then it'd be what like a digital thing that you could activate through your eyes well like you just see the future of meta where they shove it into your eye and then it just pops up in front of your face and such that's just oh Facebook. no i mean you like you get you get like a shot in your arm and then you're just able to access it or whatever shouldn't it be in your eyes at least i don't know Derek, your dreams don't make any sense. No, they don't. <laughs> but yeah, I got the shot, then I had to fill out like this paperwork. Whatever. Shouldn't you fill out the paperwork before you get the shot? No. Your dreams are just completely unbelievable, Derek. But anyways, Jesus. I finished the paperwork after a little bit, and then I gave it to the guy, and he, he didn't even really look at it. He just kind of crumpled it up and threw it in the trash and said I was good. <laughs> That's um, a, that sounds like just the future. That's what Facebook will be here. Seems legit. In a few years. Yeah. But yeah, that's all I really remember. Again, my dreams are very jumbled up. They're really I just remember much cohesion. watching Gabe play a game and then signing up for future Facebook. I guess. <laughs> Why are we trolling around the sewers? I thought we were going to Taco Bell. Because we got to get Mr. Hanky as a summons, too. No, so this is awesome. I mean, stuff. to be Kinda. fair, if you did need to get to a, a Taco Bell, going through the sewers is probably the best option. Is Taco Bell connected to the sewer? I mean, it is a sewer, so... Eh. I mean, have you ever been to a Taco Bell? 
Like, maybe twice. I don't know. I've never actually been to a Taco Bell, and that fact amazes, like, so many people, and I don't know why, because it's just fucking Taco Bell. I mean, it's just a restaurant. Yeah, it's not that amazing. I've eaten a Taco Bell product before, and it was just as shitty as I had imagined it would have been. I found Amber, Mr. Pooh! Amber Pooh! So I got a uh, fucking, what was that called? The Crunch Wrap. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't very Amber Hanky, more like Amber P- Amber Per, Amber Her. Was it soggy? <laughs> I mean, yeah, pretty much. Uh, it's just, you know, it's it was about what I was expecting because you know it's Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, the best part was oh, why no, is there there's so no... fucking hobo down here. That sounds right. Yep. <sighs> but yeah, it was like at uh, fucking That's two in the morning. Down. <laughs> at a Taco Bell. And the fucking uh, cashier lady just seemed like she was completely oh, done with her oh, life. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the pull up there is just like, what? <laughs> it wasn't even like, welcome to Taco Bell in an unenthusiastic voice. It was just, what? <laughs> I imagine see. working at Taco Bell at 2 in the morning is probably the worst time to be working at Taco oh, Bell. Well. Oh, yeah. That's when you get the undesirables. <laughs> hey, Steel. All the fucking dudes that are high off their fucking rockers. Uh, of course. If he's on fire and he's drinking alcohol, that seems like a and terrible now he's dead. idea. Well, yeah, because he drank a fucking alcohol while he was on fire. But that's how you get fire powers. <laughs> that's how you die. That's how you get flame and chimp Pokemon. That's how you get a bottle of liquor to turn into a fucking Molotov cocktail on your hands. Use <laughs> syringe. Homeless camp's cleared. Three out of seven. This is like that one Pokemon gym. Nessa's gym where you gotta <laughs> hit the pipes. To... Oh yeah, except more gross. <laughs> of course. So can we say Game Freak took the idea from South Park? They did, because this did come out before uh, Sword and Shield. Yeah. Free Spirit. Also, somebody was trying to convince me the other day that Shield was the better Pokemon, and I was like, no. Shield's obviously Zama's the worst choice. Rod of Waste. Yeah, Fucking Saucian's better. Yeah, the Sword was the obviously <laughs> better game. Uh, Mr. Twig. And which two gyms did the uh, sword have again? That were different fighting and something. Uh, fighting ghost rock. And, and rock and rock and ice. I think if I'm correct. He's just asking what sword has. So yeah. we had fighting and rock. And the rock won't replace the Shit ice show, cream. 25 cent. Yeah, that's good. Who was the fucking the rock uh, uh, gym person? Not what we need right now. Uh, the son of the uh, the ice gym leader. Oh. Gordy is his name. I, if I remember right. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Jesus Christ. All the damage! Why are these rats cooperating with hobos? Uh, Jacked up. Maybe the hobos raised them. <laughs> they raised them from wee babies. Is this like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yeah. Except he's the... the well, Jesus, you just fucking blew up that rat. <laughs> Splinter, no. My drunk ass mom sent me to get some more eggnog, and I got caught. You have 45 friends? Oh my god. And two of them are shit. Literal piles of poo. Yep. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, which 
Probably don't need to spend too much thought process on this. Yeah, it is a game mostly centered around farts. I don't think it has philosophically deep meanings. Um, Do each one of these just cost one point? Yeah. Longer, I'm gonna nod off. You want me to play you a lullaby on my phone? Do play do the do audiobook do recording and go the fuck to sleep. Is that what you fucking nuke your waste in this sewer? It was from the UFO. Or, I'm sorry, I mean the Taco Bell. I mean, to be fair, Taco Bell probably does have nuclear waste in it. That might explain a few things. Now we got puking disgusting. Yeah, that's... Okay. There we go. Now I got a better weapon, too. We're gonna plunge him to death. Is that like a magic plunger? Yes, it is. It can unclog the super clog. It can unclog the... A magic toilet? ...poo that took a pee. Or a pee that took a poo. That tiny rat break down that whole wall. Wait, dude. It's the pee penis rat. I mean, clearly, but like that didn't explain how it burst through a wall. It's a legendary mouse. It's like the rabbit from Monty Python. You just don't mess with it. Go get him, boy. March for death. I feel like that dog realistically would just eaten the mouse. Ow. Yeah. Although, funny story is, you know, cats are supposed to be, you know, like alpha predators of small creatures. Yeah. Yesterday, when I was going to bed, you know, I was just yeah. heading back to my bed after turning the light off. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Truman just pounced out from around the corner and, like, jumped at me. And I was like, shh, what, what are you doing, right? dude? Right. <laughs> like, he wasn't even anywhere near me. And he didn't, like, you know, like, playfully roll over like he was trying to play with me or anything. He just kind of, like, jumped out at me like he was trying to attack me and just kind of looked at me. And I was like, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> so Truman is a terrible predator, as anybody could guess, because, you know, yeah. he's bright orange. <laughs> you want to share the other story from today? What? Uh... When he was sleeping and woke up. Oh, that wasn't today, but... <laughs> oh, well, the one you yeah. told me anyways, I mean. <laughs> when I saw him the other day, he woke up and just, like, his whole side was just covered in a giant puddle of drool. <laughs> it's just pathetic. <laughs> Great, I'm and he just woke up and just, like, didn't have a problem with the fact that he, his entire side was just covered in drool. I'd hate to see that. <laughs> He's just laying on the fucking chair and just woke up covered in drool. Was awesome. well, the chair also had drool or whatever? Not really. It dried off the chair. It just did dry off of it. All the damage. You, you just won. You fucking no scoped a hobo. Yes. <laughs> You can actually get a 360 no scope medal in Halo Infinite now. <laughs> uh, of course you can. They added a bunch of medals to that game. Oh, come on. And now he's on fire ah. and grossed out. Like there's one medal that I've never gotten until I played against AI is called Steak yeah. Tactical. Yeah. And that's just if you win the game by a monumentous amount of points. <laughs> mm -hmm. And about the only time that's going to happen is when you do play against AI, so it's really not that great of a medal. <laughs> yeah. 
And even if you do get it in the actual game, like, what's that really mean for you? That just means your, t your fucking enemies were shit. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> anybody that's even relatively good at Halo can get a kill once in a while. 